In this video, we're gonna cover step-by-step step how you can record the screen of your Mac for your YouTube or your tutorial videos. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video. We release a ton of content to help you get better results with your videos faster. If you're new here, then make sure you click that big subscribe button and all the links to everything that we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description below. So let's jump into it. Screen captures are a great way to step your audience through a process on screen, teaching them how to use an app or software, record a presentation with slides, or even capture B-roll of product pages or websites for your videos. In fact, screen captures are one of the easiest ways to create B-roll, so if you're not using them, then you definitely should be. In this video, we'll be covering exactly how you can capture your screen on your Mac with a range of options, both free and paid. Now the paid options do have some advantages. So we'll cover off our pick first, and then we'll follow up with a run through of the best free options that we've found to get you started. So in regards to paid options for screen capture on Mac, there's really four solutions that you've got, four solid options. The first one is one that is a relatively new option, and it's probably the cheapest paid option, and that is using WeVideo. So WeVideo, if you have haven't heard of it, check out our video. We did a video recently talking about the benefits of using WeVideo. It is an online cloud-based editing solution, meaning that you won't need to install any software and it now supports screen capture as well. The benefit of this is that your screen captures are actually saved in the cloud. So if you're gonna have team members help you edit or put together your projects or your videos, then WeVideo is a solid solution. Not only that, but the editing features that you'll get in WeVideo to edit down your screen recordings or your screen captures are really, really powerful. So you'll be able to do a heap of stuff in there and it all runs in your web browser. So it's a pretty cool option. Now you can pick up licenses of WeVideo starting at $4.99 per month, or there's a top plan at $7.99 per month, but if you want a total overview of WeVideo, then check out the video linked on screen now. Option number two for screen recording on Mac is a program called Snagit. Now Snagit, you can actually get a Windows version and a Mac version, so they are cross-platform and you can actually share your project files between the two, which is pretty cool. So where Snagit stands out is it is probably the no fuss screen recording tool. You can literally just draw out a section of your screen, press record, and you're underway. But where Snagit stands out beyond the simplicity of the screen recording itself is that it's actually got some really cool annotation and markup features to help you show your viewers of your videos things that you want to show them on screen. So it's really easy to drop in arrows and to add text and to add some markup to your videos to help guide your viewers through whatever you're showing them on your screen. The other place that Snagit really stands out is in the screenshot capability. So taking still images from your screens or saving them out as JPEGs. This is really, really powerful in Snagit and there's a heap of tools in there to help you do that. But in regards to creating videos, it does it, it does it well, and it lets you add in arrows and markups and things really easily. But in regards to the editing, that's where it sort of falls down a bit. Option number three for screen capture on Mac is the big brother from Snagit. This is Camtasia. So both of these are made by the same company. Snagit is the just the screen capture version, whereas Camtasia is really the full editing solution as well as the screen capturing. So Camtasia sells for $199, so it's a big jump up in price from the $49 price point of Snagit. But really, as I said, this comes down to the editing functionality and the complete end-to-end -end solution that you're getting here in Camtasia. The biggest difference that you'll find in regards to the screen capture or the screen recording between Snagit and between Camtasia is the simultaneous recording of webcam. So while Snagit will let you record your webcam while you're recording your videos, there's nowhere near as much control to be able to pick the image up, move it around, scale it down, make it a picture in picture, to switch between the webcam and the screen recording easily and to change it on the fly. This is where Camtasia really stands out. And it really comes down to the power that you've got in Camtasia and the editing tools that you've got for pulling this together after the recording has finished. So if you're looking for a complete end-to-end -end solution and you're looking for something that works on both Mac and PC and maybe you're sharing the project files between the two, then Camtasia could be a great option. But at that $199 price point, it definitely doesn't make it the best bang for buck solution. Which leads us then to option number four which in my opinion is the best bang for buck solution, and that is ScreenFlow. Now ScreenFlow is Mac only, but it sells for $99, and it is the most robust, most solid solution for screen capture and for editing screen captures on Mac 
in my opinion. So not only can you simultaneously record your webcam and your screen as you can in Camtasia, you can also simultaneously record from things like your iPhone screen as well and additional microphones. So the level of control and the power that you've got in your actual screen recording is huge. But where ScreenFlow really shines is in the editing as well. It is a really, really solid, really high powered video editing solution, especially for screen captures. The things that you can do so easily to add in animated text, which you can do in Camtasia as well, but I personally think the process of how you do it and the editing workflow and just the, the, the feature set that you get for editing as well as screen recording is where ScreenFlow stands out from the rest. Simple things like helping your viewer follow along with what you're showing them on screen. There's so many simple ways that you can do that. They have features called a call out where you can highlight different sections of your screen really, really easy. Like literally, it's a couple of clicks and you've done that. You can zoom in on sections, you can make your cursor bigger or smaller. When it comes to screen capture on Mac, you really can't go past ScreenFlow. It's definitely worth considering. And again, I'd really suggest that you grab trial versions of these and try them for yourself to see which one is going to be the best for you. All the links to the trial versions you can find linked in the description below. Okay, so those are the paid options. Let's take a look at some of the free options. Now these can also get really good options, but the biggest difference is that you won't have the editing capabilities built in. So if you're gonna be editing your screen recordings using other software, then that might not be a big deal for you. So these could be the best solutions. Now there's two main free options here. The first one is incredibly simple to use, but it also has some reduced functionality. And the next one is a bit more complex, but it works pretty well for everything right up to gaming videos. So the first one is QuickTime. Now, if you're on a Mac, which obviously you're watching this video, you are on a Mac, then you've already got QuickTime installed on your system. And it actually has a pretty powerful screen recording functional capabilities built in. To access these screen recording features in QuickTime, just open up QuickTime and hit File, New Screen Recording. Pretty straightforward. From there, you'll be able to switch on or off whether you want to have mouse clicks highlighted, so stand out when you click something. And when you hit record, you'll have the ability to either draw out the section that you want to record of your screen, or just click on the screen and have the whole screen recorded. So that's a really simple option and it's already installed on your computer right now. The next option is OBS or Open Broadcast Software. Now this is really live streaming software. It's free, works on both Mac, PC and Linux, but it's also got screen recording capabilities built in as well. Once again, with OBS, you can either draw out a section of your screen to record or you can record the whole thing. You've got control over the codecs and bit rates that you're going to be recording to, so you get some advanced functionality there. But one of the things that I really like about OBS and one of the things that makes it one of the most popular options for recording gaming videos is that it is a low consumption program, meaning it's not gonna chew up all your CPU or GPU resources. That's why it's used for gaming, so that they can still have all the power and performance on their computer left for gaming, but you can still be recording your screen at the same time. But once again, this is just for purely screen recording. There's no markup, no annotations, no editing functionality built into OBS. So to summarize all that up, your paid options are WeVideo, which the standout feature for that is if you're gonna be working collaboratively in the cloud or you wanna edit all your videos in the cloud using WeVideo. Option number two was Snagit, which is a solid option for screen capturing and basic, very basic editing in at the $49 price point. Up from that is Camtasia, which sells for $199, so it's the most expensive option, but it is a complete end-to-end -end solution with really powerful video editing built in. And the fourth option for paid was ScreenFlow, which in my opinion is the best all-round, best bang for buck at $99. So it includes all your video editing and some really powerful options for your screen recording as well. Then we have the two free options, QuickTime, which is already installed on your computer, and OBS, which is free for Mac, Windows, and Linux as well. Both of those will allow you to capture full screen or just to draw out a section of your screen and just record that. But neither of those has editing functionality built in. So what I would highly recommend, and I know that I've mentioned it before, is you need to get the software that's going to be the best for the types of videos you're creating. And really the only way that you can do that is to try a few different programs and see which one is going to be the best for your workflow. 
Check out the links in the description to where you can grab trial versions of the different applications, give them a go and see which one works best for you. Now, if you're shooting video with your iPhone or your Android smartphone, then we've put together a video that runs through the step-by-step -step process that will make a big difference in your video results fast. Check out the videos linked on screen now and I'll see you soon.